Raise your hands, please. Uh, good win. It's a good team. They're going to win a lot of games in the Big East. It wasn't uh, necessarily the prettiest game at times, but I thought our guys were resilient. You know, we built the lead in the first half. The guy gave Craig a ton of credit. They kept hammering away. I think they finished the, the first half on a 21 to 10 run, so we didn't close like we needed to. But, you know, <clears throat> they're good. Uh, Kalkbrenner is one of the better bigs in the country. I mean, he's big, he's got size, you got to pay attention to him in the post. I thought we had a decent plan that we executed for the most part because he still ended up with 18 points. You know, our pick and roll defense wasn't great. They, they exposed it there in the second half. You know, we were trying to close the game, we gave up way too many threes. And, you know, Ash was one of the better guards in the country and we, we fell asleep on some stuff with him. Thought for large parts of the game we were good defensively, and then they're, they're so explosive and short stints, you fall asleep and they make you pay. You know, they had a four point play, multiple threes, you know, Jackson McAndrew, we didn't get that covered correctly. So, you know, uh, good win, but a lot to, lot to build on. Got three more uh, games before conference play, and I think this will be a win that goes a long ways come March, which is why we schedule games like this. So, appreciate them. Coming schedule in the series, I think it's good for both programs, and and you know, we get we you know we get to learn a little bit from it. I think uh, young blood played his you know he's supposed to be about 15, 16 minutes, played 16 minutes, and kind of knocking the rest off. It's good to see him hit the one three. I think he'll shoot a little bit better than he did tonight once he kind of gets in, in flow and in rhythm a little bit more. But it's good to see him out there uh, contributing to the win tonight. Start on the right here, Johnny. I just asked LeBaron about his defense intensity in the second half there. I think he was he was up in Ashworth a lot, and I felt like it got the building up a little. Just what does he give you from a defensive standpoint, and do you feel like that edge is necessary for this team to, to get better? Yeah, no, he's a great defender. He's long, he's athletic, he's tough, he's competitive. And I thought him and Darian Reed both did a good job. Now they, again, he, Ashworth's one of those guys who do a great job 95% of the time, and 5% of the time you screw up all of a sudden he's got – you know, 20 points on you. He doesn't miss free throws. He doesn't miss too many open shots. So, you know, I did think those guys were good, but we, we got to, again, when you're relying on freshmen as much as we are right now, sometimes, you know, those, we only had three guys in double figures scoring, two of them were freshmen, Gary on the Baron. You know, they're going to make some mistakes on the defensive end, and you just got to keep teaching them and getting better. But I think their, their intensity, their effort, their, their want to is at a really high level, and that that's, that goes a long ways. So proud of both those guys tonight. Nick Kelly. Yeah, we got to see Aiden Sherell, uh not only defending a bit, but he put a lot of shots up as well. Um, what did you think of his, uh, I guess? It was the old Moses Malone, where you know you just keep tipping your own miss and keep missing. And, you know, he hit five, well, he had five offensive rebounds. I don't know if all five of those came off his own misses, but you know, you get a lot of shot attempts when you just keep jumping and missing and tipping. So. Uh, it was good to see him hit the three. He's been a great kid, but nice if a couple of them tip-ins had gone in. I, I, he could have tried to tip on you know, one or two of them, but uh, he's going to keep coming. He's a big body. We wanted to keep Cliff fresh. I thought Aiden was the next, next best guy to put on Kalkbrenner. I mean, you know, Kalkbrenner ends up playing 30, 36 minutes, so you know, Cliff only played 25 and kind of matched up the, the 25 minutes with the 36, and that's Aiden Shirell's 10 minutes was kind of that gap there. And I, I thought he did a decent job defensively on Kalkbrenner, which is what we wanted, and he hit that three and wanted to keep taking every open three he gets. We just got to give him the finish a little bit better to run, but he's he's coming along. Katie. Mark had his best shooting night since the season over opener, and he's also really aggressive driving the room tonight. Do you just feel like tonight was kind of a game where he got back to doing what he does best? Yeah, I hope so, because uh, I'll say this. He was he'd been outstanding in practice, literally leading into the Carolina game, and since the Carolina game, I think he's been really good, been locked in, practicing hard. He ended up leading us some blue collar points, got the hard hat tonight, thought his effort was good. I don't think it's any coincidence that you know, I felt like we tell our guys just lose yourself in the game. He got really locked into just playing hard, playing the right way, doing the right things, and now all of a sudden he's got his best shooting nights, high scoring output. He's getting the rim. He makes free throws. He just 
lost himself in the game tonight playing the right way, and I thought he was really good. This is the best game I, we've seen out of him since the season started. Hopefully this kind of gets him going here. Jack. Yeah, Nate, uh, you know, just how pleased were you tonight with your team's efforts on the glass, just particularly the, the offensive rebounding to both, uh, you know, create some second chance opportunities for yourself and then limit Creighton uh, from, from taking some advantage there? Yeah, I mean, it was good. I thought it could have been better at times. You know, some of these were misses that we should have made and then we're getting the rebounds. But 17 to 5, pretty good. I, you know, for 17 to 5, you'd like the second chance points to be a lot bigger disparity. You know, it was only 14 to 8. But, you know, they, they gave up some awards and they just didn't give up a score. So, you know, I, we, we did a good job on the glass. We all rebounded by 14. But we, we do need to do a better job scoring on those old boards we get. But I, I thought the effort was pretty good for the most part. I, I, you know, some of the guys could give a little bit better effort, but I thought, I thought it was pretty good. Tony. You finished five and two in this kind of gauntlet stretch since uh, Purdue. How much confidence does that guy give you guys maybe heading into SEC play? I know you got a couple games, but. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it's good. I think maybe the toughest seven game stretch anybody in the country in nine conference. So we've scheduled pretty tough like this ever since I've been here, I think. It, it's the best way to prepare yourself for SEC play. So I think our guys will be ready. Now we got three more games, and, and they're not easy. A road game at North Dakota, it's not going to be an easy game. You know, Kent State and South Dakota State are both really good mid-major programs. You know, Kent State's one of the best programs in the MAC, where I came from. They'll be ready to go. They're tough, physical, and we'll come back from Christmas, South Dakota State, before we get into SEC play. So hopefully we can get in a, a groove, a rhythm, Offensively, and I, you know, we're not shooting it really well. Like, we're for how we're shooting it to be, you know, I, we just looked at Ken Palm, you know, Coach Pannon, you know, runs our offense. And we, to be six in the country with as poor as we're shooting it right now is a tribute to the type of shots and some other stuff we're doing. But you know, we, we have to start to make some shots here. So hopefully, these next three games will help us get there. But the seven game stretch, I, I was pretty happy with it. It'd be nice to have. Those two losses back, particularly Oregon won to win that tournament. Talking about winning championships and we're one possession shy of winning that thing. But you know, we're learn we're learning from all these games and there's plenty of stuff we can learn from this game to be better for SEC play come January. Jim. When you're thirty three days between home games here, is it mental toughness, chemistry, both that you learn from being on the road that much? I think it's a little bit of all of it. I definitely some chemistry being together on the road as well as we were. We were in Vegas for eight days. You know, we, we've been on road trips. Even the semi-home game in Birmingham, we're up there the night before and kind of getting to know each other well. I think it's a great group that, you know, some guys didn't play as well, but play as many minutes. You look at Logan Bate and Houston, we're like the lower guy. It's on the minutes list. They're unbelievable kids. They're, all about the team and you know we have plenty of guys so I think the chemistry was great I think that the mental toughness is there I mean the night when we don't shoot it very well at all from three and just finding ways to win games when you don't shoot it particularly well you know you get to get to the old boards maybe force some turnovers you know our points off turnovers we, we about doubled them so I think there's there's some mental toughness some toughness to play on the road as much as we have and you know, Purdue's one of the better environments in the country. And I think that's going to go a long ways for these road games because the SEC is looking really good. We're going to have some big rival games on, on the road that we're going to have to play really well in hostile environments. So I think this helped. Like you mentioned Gary on Reed earlier, just from a two-way perspective, how did he play tonight? And just how have you seen him uh, just improve over the course of the season? Yeah, he's getting more comfortable. I mean, the thing with Darion is he, he missed so much in the summer, he first season with USA Basketball, so he missed the beginning. Then he then he got injured a couple different uh, times and missed reps. So, you know, he, he's getting more comfortable. He's figuring out what we want out of him. You know, he had two old boards tonight. We, I, I, shoot, there was a day in practice between Carolina and in this game where he, he was the best offensive rebounder on a team, shooting all the best offensive rebounders in the country. And we, we can get that energy and that effort and those kind of intangible plays, if you will. You know, he can be a great defender, he can be a great offensive rebounder, a great slasher. He's, he's a good shooter when he takes the right shots. 
you know, there's a lot of stuff he does and can kind of fill the stat sheet. So just going to keep bringing him along. But I thought I thought he's pretty good. I mean, we I'm looking at his offensive leverage. We were actually better with him in the game offensively. So you know, he made made some stuff happen tonight. Anyone else? Awesome. Thanks, Coach. I appreciate this.